Boom! We got a new addition to the channel. 2021 Sea-Doo Spark Tricks. I think I even got myself the Sea-Doo hat. This was a must, of course. And it is the two-up model, which means two people. So one, two. A lot of people say that this is really just a one-person jet ski or a one and a half. Really depends on the size of the other person that you're riding with. So my girlfriend and I are under 300 pounds combined. So the uh, stability on this should be okay. It won't be as, as good as, you know, something larger. Uh, we sat on it and there's like plenty of room even with her on the back here. So if she's driving, she's actually going to be sitting closer to the front and I'll be... I'll have plenty of room on the back. So it'll actually be more room when she's driving than when I'm driving. So as you can see, when I'm up here, sitting on her right now, this is how much room we have in the back if I'm just casually sitting down in the front. Uh, this is, I mean, we've got some room. I could, I could scoot up a little bit, but it is gonna be a tight squeeze. For 2021 in the Trix model, it came in two colors. It came in a red and a black, and then obviously a yellow and green color that I have here. The other color is really cool too. It's a red and a black, the red seat, and then the, it's mostly black. And I'll be honest, it does look badass in that color, but I wanted something that was a little bit more in your face, even though this color is not a new color for 2021. There's tons of different things you can do as far as wraps and designs that you can get on this thing, making it really stand out, which, I mean, come on. You guys know me, we're gonna do that, we're gonna get wild with it. What makes this specific model of Sea-Doo fun? It is the VTS variable trim system on the back. So on this, on this ski, if you guys look up some other videos and uh, hopefully mine coming in the summertime, once I can actually ride this thing, uh, this can do water wheelies, what they call water wheelies. It's really the best name you can give it, but essentially you can adjust the trim up or down to raise the bow up or down, raise the nose of this thing. It also helps to be able to jump this thing. So this is kind of like the old stand-up skis. It's about as close as you can get to a stand-up ski while still being a uh, sit-down uh, sit ski. With that being said, in the footwell, of this ski specifically, it's going to come with these footrests or foot pads, essentially these two platforms on the back of each footwell so that when you are doing a water wheelie or you're doing a jump or you're standing this thing up, you can put your foot in there and you'll be standing almost vertical. It's got that nice foam right there. So especially if you were wearing shoes, it'll be a good grip. And then the controls for that are over here on the left-hand side. So you got your VTS up and down. You have your start stop button on the left there. And then also your brake slash reverse. On the right-hand side, you are gonna have your throttle control. And then what's really neat about the handlebars on this for taller people, or if you're gonna be standing up on it a lot, you can adjust these handlebars up and down just like a bicycle kind of. So you can go and do what I just did there and then you lock it back down into place and it's whatever adjustment you'd like there depending on the rider. Everything I just told you is essentially what makes this what it is. So you've really got the VTS system, the reverse, the brake. It's not really a brake, but it slows you down. You got the foot pads or the foot rests on the back and then the adjustable handlebar risers obviously right there on the handlebars. So the rest of this minus the color um, is going to be just like the base model Spark. It's called the Tricks for a reason. It allows you to do more tricks, have more fun. Other things, I'm not going to take the seat off right now just because I'll be honest, I haven't taken it off yet with one hand, but you pop it off. You got your fuel under there where you can refill it. A lot of people say that this seat is uncomfortable. I obviously have not ridden on it, but um, people say she'll start to hurt the old booty after a while. There is a comfort seat that you can buy, but it only comes in gray. People really tout that as being um, a must have on these Sparks because the seat's so comfortable compared to the stock seat. Um, and then if you wanted to, you can buy some custom upholstery for that that uh, different companies sell, because obviously nobody wants a gray seat on a Spark that you just bought with these crazy colors, you put the gray seat on there. I don't know, that just doesn't really fit the bill for me. I have an iPhone XR with an OtterBox case on it. Don't mind the old profile picture there. 
But as you can see, it just barely fits inside here at an angle. And it has to sit down in this platform. So if you guys have anything bigger than this, this is what the inside of the box looks like. You cannot set it down flat in there because it'll sit above and it won't close. It is a uh, not a lot of room as far as the storage that comes stock on the Spark. But if you wanted your phone in there, you can fit an iPhone XR just fine at an angle. There are some phone mounts that can go on the front here. For me, I will probably be getting a uh, cushion kind of like a, like a BMX bike has because I don't really want a $50,000 dental bill when I crack my face open on that thing. This is the storage box. These do not come with a storage box and I haven't fully installed this one yet, but in the front of Spark, it is just hollow all the way through or it's a open void, I guess you could say. But this is the lid to the storage box. And then inside there, this is obviously a black hole now, but that's because I have the storage box in, in, in there just uh, setting, but it's a rubber molded piece that fits inside this hole. And that gives you a little bit of extra storage space for anything that you might need, your shoes, rope, tie downs, all that good stuff. The bumpers, which I also have. So when you're pulling up to the dock or if you're gonna tie up to some other skis or boats, what makes these pretty cool, this piece specifically is for all um, sea dews but the Spark is the only one that comes stock with a hole to put it in there. So this little pin or this bar, this black bar that is on here, slides down into the hole if I can do it with one hand, let's go, baby. There we go. And then you just snap it into place. It snaps back into itself. And then this kind of just, you know, lays as is, but it'll adjust to the side of the ski there. So I got those. A couple of the other cool things that you can get for this though, are the footwell uh, traction mats. So there's a couple of different brands out there. Some of them are kind of what you guys, have, if you guys have ever been on a boat, and the rear boarding deck has that kind of like foam material and it can easily get scratched or chewed up. So they make that for the inside, I think, as one option. And then there's another option that is more of a, still a non-slip, but it's a rubber material and it lasts a little bit longer. Uh, but they make those in different colors and things. I can, you can get it in yellow, you can get it in green, you can get it in blue. Whatever color your ski is, you can do that. You can get an exhaust on this jet ski. So right now, the exhaust is, if you can see, it's that black coupler right here. So the, the exhaust comes out of the, uh, <clears throat> the pump out or the, uh, the pump channel here or whatever you want to call this area. So you can buy an exhaust that installs in the stock outlet. And what it would essentially do is you'd have to take this entire top off. And then there is a sound suppressor. Um, I don't know the name of it, but it's essentially right here. And then there's a water box that kind of is back a little bit farther. Woo, sliding the ski forward. Hold her up, hold her up, Burley. So basically, if you get an exhaust, you remove a restrictor sound suppressor that's right here, but a lot of people are probably gonna wanna leave the water box so that it catches any water. If you wanna install just the standard, it's gonna install right there, remove the restrictor for sound, and it's gonna be louder, but the outlet's gonna be still in the same spot. Or what you can do is a rear exit exhaust what you'll be able to do is cut a hole <gasps> cut a hole sounds crazy but you would cut a hole about right here and you'd have a rear exit exhaust and then you would put in a block off plate where the stock exhaust exit currently exists and then you'll have a rear exit exhaust for a little bit more of a uh, deeper sound from what i've heard in the videos and uh just overall more fun. It's not going to be faster. It's not going to really do much as far as performance. I mean, people are going to claim that it does this and that. I'm sure it makes a minimal, minimal difference, but this ski is not the fastest ski on the market. It's not meant to be. It's meant to be fun. Other than that, guys, just wanted to give you a little walk around here. You probably see the excitement. <laughs> the video didn't have a lot of direction as my other ones normally do, but um, those are going to be some install videos coming up. There's going to be some riding videos. First initial uh, ride, obviously. So we'll be doing the uh, break-in period. I think that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.